Hello Jump Box out there, I hope you guys have all had a lovely Sunday and that you're having a beautiful Sunday rest. Last night I watched this new thing called The Greatest Dancer that is presented by one of the people from Diversity who's actually Banjo's brother called Jordan Banjo. I thought it was Ashley Banjo because it sounds so similar, along with Alicia Dixon and the judges are the one from Glee, Mr. Shu, and the one from Strictly, one of the ones from Strictly, and then Shell Cole was also one of the judges, so there's three of them. But basically, the premise is that, uh, is that people will be dancing in a studio and there'll be mirrors in front, and the people will be able to see them, but they will be able to see the audience, and the people vote, and you, it will light up, and you have to get 75%, and then the mirrors open and you they will be able to see the audience and it was just such an uplifting extraordinary and emotional show and i was literally in i was an, an emotional mess basically and it's just amazing and the last act was a guy who had danced with him and he was bloody amazing i've watched a youtube video of it about a hundred times me my dad and my old brother out here watching that one, my mum was watching some murder mystery thing in the living room and we had to call her out and was like, you've got to watch this. And so we won and watched it with her and it was just so amazing, showing that people with special needs could do just as well as anybody else. And I've got dyspraxia myself and so it was very heartwarming and very great to see someone with special needs doing as well as anyone else in that competition and I think it was just so good and I just really hope he wins. There's so many good acts. I'm sorry my hair's a bit of a mess, I've got a bit of hat hair because I just got back from watching my old sister play rugby down at the rugby club and I was there with my dad and my old brother and her boyfriend. Did a really good game. They lost by two points but anywho who cares about that? They did extraordinarily well. They have come on so well and it's just such a great game. And yeah, this morning I had a bit of a catastrophe because my little pot that has all my pins and paper clips and all those type of things, I sort my office out and it gets the lid open and it gets went all over the floor. So I had to pick all of that up. And then while I was down there, I had a bit of cake to treat myself and had some pop scratchings and a whisper and a cape, just typical rugby club food kind of thing. And I have just over myself a tin of chicken soup and I'm gonna have that for my snacky afternoon late lunch because that was the rugby club stuff I had there was kind of like my brunch and I'm gonna have a, like a late lunch. And so I absolutely loved that show last night one of my new favourite shows. That's when Ice comes back tonight. I'm super excited for that. And also, I'm really excited for the voice that started up. It started up last night and I watched that. And I watched that last night and it was just so amazing. I loved the voice. I loved Ollie Merce. If I was able to go on there, I'd want Ollie Merce to be my mentor. Or Tom Jones. All I am. Probably going to get a bit of hate for that. But I'm not this because I'm not a big fan of Katie, H not Katie Hudson, Kerry to the other one, I can't remember her name now. No, Jennifer Hudson, that's it. I'm not a big fan of her, I think she's quite cocky and she just seems to be a bit irritating. So, other than her, I'd want to go with Will, Tom, or Ollie. And yeah, I love that show, it was so much fun seeing the acts last night on there. And if I was to go on any competition like that, I probably would go on The Voice because The Voice doesn't judge on your looks, it judges really on your voice which I think is a really good idea and yeah so I had some toast this morning just before we went off to the rugby and I'm now back my dad's had to go off to our grandma's because she says her heat is finito so he's gone there to sort that out my older brother is down at the rugby club with my older sister and her boyfriend and I watch this monkey world show with my mum which is amazing we were supposed to be going there because it's near to where we went on holiday last year but unfortunately we didn't get time to go there so hopefully we're going to be doing that this summer and i tidied up my office 
this morning as you guys know from when I had the catastrophe of the pins getting all over the floor and the paper cuts and god it was awful so I just tidied that up paid my my bleeder doll and it's a dolls a dolls and bleeder doll photography and while at the rugby club our family friends son was there so I had to keep an eye on him make sure he wasn't getting up to any mischief and I got a nice selfie because I had my nice black winter coat and beanie on so I looked super wintry glam <laughs> wintry glam new one for me and I look great only thing is I kind of got a bit of hot hair and I was watching some of my older vlogs on my channel as you do I've done like 800 and something vlogs now and I was just looking back and I've just had so many different hairstyles over the three years I've had this channel and it just made me laugh so much I was like what the hell was I thinking why did my parents let me go out with my hair literally so long that my my fringe was like out here flicking us and it was just a mushroom looked like a mushroom head and I'm so glad I don't have that anymore mum keeps on saying I'm going bald I'm not going bald and I know that I'm not going bald because my hair is still going because basically I have this my new hairstyle that I love to have now is long on the top short on the sides and my friend friend who I went and dyed and cut someone's hair out and who plays rugby with my older sister cuts my hair now and she always does an amazing job and I love getting my hair cut there now but basically it's growing like the sides are like going crazy now and it's just this bit's just growing so long now so I know that I'm not going to bother anytime soon because my hair is growing like wildfire and it still does grow quite a lot so yeah nothing to worry about and even if i do as soon as i start going bold i'm gonna start wearing wigs like crazy long wigs the lot i cannot wait and yeah it'll be so much fun and yeah i'll probably wear like mohawks the lot and i need to get my phone topped up because i run out of credit and i am planning on meeting my mate from college who i went and saw back in the summer as we met up and unfortunately and he gave me my number his number and we exchanged number just before we broke up for college. Unfortunately, I got a new friend and I had his number, and then my older brother like sorted it out, so I lost all my contacts. I was able to get all of them back apart from my mates, so from college, so I couldn't get a hold of him on it because he didn't have Facebook or anything. But now he has Facebook, so I sent a request and we got each other's numbers again, so he'd been texting a bit, but as I was texting him details about when we're meeting up and stuff, my phone went out of credit so I need to get that topped up so I can finish sending a message to him and talk, it's going to be good having a nice catch up with him and I was also talking to one of the people working at the bar in the rugby club about how I'm hopefully getting a job working in this store fingers crossed, haven't had anything yet but no news is good news I think they're still sorting that out and my younger sister's up in uni my older brother and older sister and her boyfriend are still at the rugby club and my younger brother has work and I had a cup of tea when we got back just before filming this vlog for you guys as I was pretty parched and I did some dance and dance and blue doctor photography and I'm going to be sorting my blue doctor dance out tomorrow and I rearranged my dance and dance and did some Arts and craft and some coloring pages and was listening to a bit of Kylie Minogue, Pat Disco and some other singers and bands and I watched some stuff of a chord and piece of player that I need to watch and I need to watch the newest casualty episode as I didn't watch it last night and last night I watched Love Simon, love that film so much, one of my favourite LGBT films and also watched the voices of Merlin and I am absolutely loving Merlin at the moment. I watched it but I didn't watch all the seasons, so I'm watching from season one to season five. And I watched Matilda, loved that film, and watched Frats, what Angels, one of my favourite Frats films. And I then watched some episodes of Charm, the original series, not the reboot that's on Netflix. The newest episode of that comes out on the 20 something of January, which I'm so excited for. I love the reboot that I've been watching. And I've caught up with all my programs like Supernatural and Charmed and Riverdale and all the stuff that I watch off this site that I can't watch on TV over here. 
which is awesome. I just need to keep an eye out for when the next episodes are out because they're all on episode 9. It's waiting on episode 10 of the episodes to come back, but I think they're all on a break over the Christmas and January holiday kind of waiting until later in January to get that all launched again. And yeah, God, I love my shows. I'm a bit of a film and TV junkie. I just love to watch films and TV. And I worked on some parts to my new book that I'm working on as a script storylines. And I just absolutely love writing. I'm always writing songs, script storylines, books, the lot. I worked on some illustrations and I'm not off to go have my chicken soup with some bread and a cup of tea. And I'm going to be watching some episodes of Monkey World with my mum and some episodes of Fick of Deadly and then go watch that cash thing to watch. Hope you guys have all enjoyed this video and you've all had a lovely weekend and that you're all having a lovely Sunday rest and that you have a great week ahead and I shall see you soon with new bug very soon. Bye.